اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم In this session, we are going to focus on how to interpret moderation results using Smart PLS. Now, in order to make it easier, what I have done is I have created or I have devised these different steps that one can follow in order to develop a better understanding of moderation results. Although I have got previous videos on moderation and the links will be shared in the description, I have tried this new method whereby it's much easier for the scholars to interpret moderation results. Now here is my sample model. I've got one IV, collaborative culture, one DV, organizational performance, two moderators, role ambiguity and role conflict. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run my moderation analysis. So I've, I'll select bootstrapping. Now normally 5,000 to 10,000 is recommended bias corrected accelerated bootstrap one tailed and start We'll go to path coefficients and if you look here this is insignificant so rc does not moderate the relationship between cc and op ra which is the other moderator moderates significantly the relationship between cc and op now we are going to use these different steps that i have devised in order to better understand the moderation now step one is the moderating interaction effect significant now let's see yes this one is significant and this one is insignificant so once this is insignificant your hypothesis is not supported so you fail to reject your null hypothesis now we are going to focus on the one that is significant now is the moderating effect positive negative whether it weakens or strengthens the relationship so let's have a look here it is negative so when your moderating effect that is your interaction effect is negative this means that the moderator weakens the relationship between cc and op and in this case it significantly weakens the relationship step three is the relationship between iv and dv that is relationship being moderated positive or negative so if you look here so this is the relationship being moderated cc to op is the relationship positive yes it is positive and significant now there are different scenarios here with respect to your moderation or interaction effect and the iv and dv now let's assume the first scenario can be that your moderation or interaction effect is positive and the relationship that is being moderated that is the relationship between iv and dv is also positive this would mean that the moderator strengthens the relationship between or the positive relationship between IV and DV. So when you increase the level of the moderator, it increases or strengthens or the positive effect of IV on DV also gains strength. Second scenario, your moderation or interaction effect is positive, but your IV and DV is negative. This means that moderation or moderator strengthens the negative relationship between IV and DV. The third scenario which is in our case the example that we are using the moderation or interaction effect is negative whereas the relationship between iv and dv is positive this means that moderator weakens the positive relationship between iv and dv this means that when you increase the level of the moderator the positive relationship between iv and dv is weakened and finally the moderator is negative and the IV and DV is negative as well. This means that the moderator weakens the negative relationship between IV and DV. So whether the relationship is strengthened or weakened, you know it through the sign that is associated with the original sample in your path 
or in your results here these path coefficients here look at this negative so this negative means that the moderator weakens the positive relationship between cc and op so these are four different scenarios that you will have when you run your moderation analysis moving on once your relationships or your interaction effect or your moderation effect is significant we need our slope so we need the slope analysis so where is the slope in smart pls for that we have to go back here calculate pls scm algorithm and start RA is significant so if you go here simple slope analysis so I'm not interested in RC and CC because this is insignificant anyway I'm interested in this other one here now the first step here is to look at the steepness of gradient which line is steeper if I look here the red line is much steeper in comparison to the other two lines now what is this CC and what is this OP the CC is your IV OP is your DV and what is this these are the three levels of the moderator because I want to assess whether moderator or the change in the moderator brings about any change in the relationship between CC and OP. Now, which line is steeper? The red line in comparison to the rest of the two lines. Now, forget the other two lines for now. Now, if you look at red line, this means that at lower level of role ambiguity, when the role ambiguity within the organizations within the organization is low. If you increase the collaborative culture, this leads to a sharper increase in organizational performance. Now, if you look at the green line, which means higher role ambiguity. So now forget the other two lines. So if there is higher role ambiguity, you are increasing collaborative culture, but it is not le leading to a sharper increase in OP. Now compare the red and the green line. At lower level of role ambiguity, if you increase collaborative culture, this leads to a sharper increase in organizational performance in comparison to when you have high role ambiguity. That you are increasing your collaborative culture, but it's, it is not leading to a sharper increase in organizational performance. This shows that role ambiguity moderates the relationship between CC and OP. So this is how and following these steps, you can easily interpret moderation in smart PLS. Thank you very much.